Hey guys, welcome back to GeekJ, where we make tech tutorials and gaming simpler and better. Today we're updating OptiScaler to version 0.9.0 pre-2 test build for Stalker 2 in this demonstration. But before we dive in, let's check the big changes. Because the change logs for both the pre-release 1 and 2 are pretty long, I'm gonna try and give you the shorter version and the most important parts, at least for me. So we have X, E or Z frame generation and low latency for the latest 2.1 versions of XCSS and uh, it adds more faker frames as a lot of people like to say when we're using opti fg and dlss g inputs but the catch is we need to use borderless windowed mode and not the true full screen mode in any game for this to work properly we also have uh, FSR 3.1 frame generation inputs that are experimental and with the latest FFX SDK 2 included in the latest FSR SDK we have FSR 4.0.2 and 3.1.5 support directly and uh, we also get the Vulkan menu rendering fixed. We also have OptiPatcher and uh, it shows an OP for OptiPatcher sign when it is successfully applied, but the developers actually mentioned that we should expect issues, and when we have issues, we should report uh, the bug with logs included so we can help them fix this in their amazing open source project. So how do I go along doing this and uh, basically to avoid issues, I always remove uh, OptiScaler, the old version I had installed. So uh, let's go ahead on my desktop over here and uh, we're going to navigate to the actual folder that the real exe file of the game is located, which is going to be Stalker 2 binaries. Win64. We need to run the remove optiscaler.bat file over here. I'm gonna do exactly that. Press Y on your keyboard for a yes. Press any key to continue and that window will close. And then I would suggest we delete manually any of the remaining folders like Nukem's uh, DLSS to FSR mode and uh, the fake and VAPI uh, actual other mods. So let's go ahead and do that. So now we need to grab the uh, 0.9.0 pre 2 uh, test build version of OptiScaler and the only way to get that is through their Discord as of the filling of this video. It's not located on their GitHub and you cannot find it on their Nexus page. The only place you can find these pre-builds are on their Discord channel. And I'm gonna have a link in the description below for their Discord channel. And uh, as you can see, we just need to go to the Opti test builds and here this is the latest build OptiScaler version 0.9.0 pre2 test build and we just click on this little text over here or the download button that will download the actual 7z archived file so after you've downloaded the actual uh, 7z file uh, you open it up with the archiver of your choice, 7z, WinRAR, WinZip, whatever, I use 7z. Uh, and then we grab all of these files over here, except for the extract all files to game folder. Then we're gonna go back to our game folder and we're just gonna drag and drop all these files into our game folder and then replace all the files in the destination. 
Basically, this version includes updated fake NVAPI DLL and Nukem's mod, so you don't need to go into other places to download them and actually copy paste the files in here. And basically these latest versions, you cannot find them in their individual channels. They have been developed specifically for this new OptiScaler version. So basically, for example, fake NVAPI is on version 134 on the official website of the developer, but for OptiScaler, this is version 138 from the same exact developer and it's uh, as of the filming of this video exclusively only uh, found in the OptiScaler files. So yeah, if you want the latest and greatest, just grab this latest version of OptiScaler and everything is pretty much done for you. So basically now we just need to run the setup windows.bat file as we did in all the previous videos. Uh, select the best version for you. Uh, DXGI for me works best because I'm not using any other mods that actually get renamed and use the DXGI.dll file. So I'm just going to go with one. Uh, are you using an NVIDIA GPU or Intel AMD GPU? I'm going to go with AMD Intel. And then will you try to use DLSS inputs? That's yes. And then press any key to continue. Just press any key and we are pretty much done. Super easy. So now I'm going to launch my mod organizer tool. And uh, I'm doing this because I'm using, as we've mentioned before, says living zone complete. And I'm going to run my game through Mod Organizer 2. This doesn't require you to have Mod Organizer 2 or run the game through Mod Organizer. You can just run it vanilla and OptiScaler will be applied because we just uh, copied everything in the actual folders of the game. We didn't do anything through Mod Organizer 2 for OptiScaler. Okay, let's go into our options, go to graphics. As you can see over here, it does say we have enabled DLSS and we are using the DLAA as an anti-aliasing method. And uh, basically, uh, we, you know, I'm on an AMD graphics card. This means that we are basically injecting FSR or whatever other uh, non-DLSS upscaler into our game through OptiScaler. So this means it's successful. The settings have been saved. Let's load a game. Everything seems to be working fine. Let's hit the insert button over here. And as you can see, it is by default injecting the XCSS 202, which is the latest version into our game. And uh, what we can do is basically go to FSR, change app scaler, and uh, it's using the latest 315. And we can disable the FSR input values if we want. We can also use Nukem's or DLSSG via Streamline. Let's try that. Save INI and restart to apply the changes. We're gonna try this, I guess. I'm gonna save close quit the game Alrighty, we've reloaded the exact same save file and basically it says that the frame generation is off so let's go ahead and enable dlss frame generation through the game options apply and i think this is enabled right now okay so this feels a lot better I'm gonna uh, try an FPS limit through the anti-lag 2 new menu over here. We have a lot of new additions. I'm gonna save my INI again. And as you can see, because we're using the new uh, streamline uh, frame generation option, this works flawlessly, basically. Um, it does detect the UI and everything because it uses all the DLSS inputs and everything is working completely fine. So after we select the upscaler of our choice, 
we then select the DLSSG via Streamline. It doesn't work in all games, so sometimes you need to select either Nokims or try to insert it with OptiFG, which is the OptiScaler version of frame generation that can uh, work on games without any frame generation and push some kind of frame generation, but then you have to kind of try and figure out how to uh, alleviate the issues with UI. But anyway, it works pretty nicely. Then we need to click on this active button and allow async, which is pretty good for a lot of the games that support frame generation. Um, so save and then hit close. And the other thing I want to check is um, the Alt, Shift and L combo, just to make sure uh, that the Anti-Lag 2 is actually working still through this new version of OptiScaler. And as you can see, it does work. We need to press this combination on our keyboard, uh, I think for five times to get all the info on the screen. If you see on the top left of your screen, that little, uh, white square it means it is working and then the rest of the details to show you the uh total of your frames the overall uh latency of the system and all that stuff so because i'm recording right now and i'm using hardware acceleration we have a few less frames actually i think i'm losing about 20 25 frames on average and the latency is a lot higher than it normally is i think it's double the latency which makes sense but yeah this is how the game looks it is pretty nice and there is no noticeable um input latency at, at least on my side and it looks pretty nice so yeah So yeah, there you have it. We're now on uh, version 0.9.0 pre-2 with the latest upscaling and frame generation technologies. So the zone basically got a serious upgrade with this latest OptiScaler version, guys. I totally recommend it. So that's it, stalkers. You've updated to OptiScaler 0.9.0 Pre 2, and we demonstrated how it works in Stalker 2. You can do it in many, many other games, everything that previously supported OptiScaler. If this boosts your game, smash that like button, subscribe. Don't forget to click on that bell to never miss another Geek J video, and drop a comment with your FPS jump and what actually improved or maybe didn't in your games. Stay geeky and I'll catch you on the next one guys. Bye bye. Bye. Bye.